Hi, so as part of my ROMT, online music teaching business, I've decided to include some reviews of my music collection. So I've often found it's beneficial for pupils to uh, have some help with maybe buying a book along the way. I mean, I, I do supply a lot of material myself anyway as part of the normal lessons, uh, but having a book to work through of a particular style they're interested in uh, has been very helpful and gives them something else to look at in between lessons and rehearse off and uh, yeah it just makes the lessons work much better often. So I have a rather vast collection of music books. I'm going to start off with my fiddle books and uh, just comment in a, not nothing too deep but to give you some recommendations on thoughts on what you get for your money and what's appropriate for a beginner or an improver or particular types of pupil. So this is an excellent collection of um, four, I think there's only four books for fiddle. First Cayley collection on the uh, uh, first to fourth. Um, you get a lot of tunes for your money. Uh, they're well presented. So the format's good to see. And there's a variety of types of tunes, um, easy ones and then um, more difficult, uh, but all in the Cayley sort of folk, sort of session um, umbrella, if you like. And um, across Irish, Scottish and American type tunes, so there are bluegrassy tunes in there, such as Turkey in the Straw, as well as uh, all sorts of standard Scottish tunes. So a vast amount in just one book for um, a beginner would keep you going for quite a long time. I only bought the um, third and fourth recently. So they are um, Christine Martin and Anne Hughes, um, published by Harpstring House. I'd certainly recommend these. You don't get a CD with them. I don't know if there's probably record, plenty of recordings out on the YouTube. Uh, but you do get a lot of tunes for your money and uh, it's quite a good collection. They have chords in there. No chord diagrams but the chords uh, will help you along or if it gets too difficult you can drop a few of them here and there. There's a lot of sevenths and minors. You might want to do it with fewer chords. So I have quite a lot of these uh, books from Shop Publications, World Music, really good music books, you get a good CD to listen to, sort of just uh, not so easy for learning off but playing along with it is pretty good quality, you get a lot of tunes for your money, um, the quality of the format of the printing is good, you yeah, get a lot of ornamentation and suggested alternative ways of playing. And also background descriptions of the tunes in three different languages at least, uh, English, French and German. Um, so these are good collections. Three of these were by Pete, Pete Cooper, who's based in London. And um, the Scottish one by um, Ian Fraser. Um, those are all excellent. If you want to go further afield with your music, with our world music collections, the Scandinavians approachable. Um, the uh, Indian is pretty tricky, uh, possibly not progress so much with that. East European is a good introduction to klezmer and gypsy music and the Hungarian one is also a good one. There's lots more of these I don't own, um, so they're definitely good quality books to get hold of. But for a beginner, probably coming on the English one, the English one is easiest for us to approach. Um, after that you want to be led by the teacher maybe so anyway that's just a start so going to a bit more depth uh, future videos so this is a good collection of books i've only got four of them i think at the moment but they're um, good value you get absolutely loads of tunes all separated off into types of tune like reels and rants flings and fancies or hornpipes or jigs or uh, slip jigs and waltzes so the fiddler Fiddler's Tune Books by Dave Mallison Productions, it says. So, um, yeah, a hell of a lot of tunes, they're absolutely packed, the font's quite small, but um, they have chords on as well, uh, but good for a reference if you're looking for a particular tune. I suspect I might never play all the tunes in all this lot, 
I'll probably have a wander through some of these at a later um, stage, but they're part of the normal session, uh, jam session, fiddler's repertoire, and uh, all lots of tunes for um, Kayleys and a good collection, good value. Uh, don't you don't get a CD with them, but there's plenty of recordings out there uh, that you can check on tunes. So this is the last collection on this little video. Um, the vast number of books by Boozy and Hawks and Edward Hughes Jones. Specialised little books. No part if you buy that version of the book. Um, they have a uh, generally they're all got duet parts for um, easy violin and they've got chords added as well so they're quite readable possibly you don't get so many tunes for your money in these books but um, they're well laid out for duetting and quite a lot of enjoyable tunes and I've used the Greek one and the tango quite a lot in the Klesma book and then there's others from Bosnia and uh, there's a Gypsy Fiddle book East European Klesma and uh, there's an early music book which is quite good for the mandolin or fiddle actually and the French one so um, a lot of international stuff to choose from there are loads more uh, than what I've got but, and they're nice books and they're good value not too expensive but uh, you get your duet parts and that's quite nice for um, getting everybody involved even if they can't play the lead part um, so that's all for now. I'll go into some of these in a bit more detail. Um, if you've got any comments, let me know. Or uh, any particular requests, if I'll see if I can do it, if I've got the music.